Hello, witnesses, and welcome to Airships Conquer the Skies, a game by David Stark version 8.2.1. This is, as far as I could tell, and I did quite a bit of research, the first proper edited review of this game, which this game really does need one, so that people who are looking for the game, they can tell if it's the game that they want. This was quite a risk for me, because there's no real information other than what the developers say. So, I have, the community is probably going to be doing a better job at reviewing than the actual developer, but no one's done it! So, first, we have the Airship Academy. This is the area that teaches you how to actually play the game. They have some pretty good tutorials. I'm going to choose a random one right now. You have this creepy looking dude, and he teaches you what to do. You just read through this. Um, it's, a, it's a reading kind of tutorial, but it's very good. Once you've finished it, this game is awesome. This is the HMS Porcupine, complete, except for its arm, arm, armaments, something like that, blah, blah, blah. Basically, they want you to put guns on it. You have to make sure that there's a route that the crew inside of it can't take to a gun. Also, all the crew, all of them are actually proper AI, and they have to go and do stuff, and they have to walk back and forth throughout the ship. It's, it's really, really good. Okay, time to start. He'll give you a little bit of instruction, and then you have to fight this enemy. Yes, bang, 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 bang. Ah, oh, ooh, ooh. What is this weird maneuver he's doing? I don't know. This ship right here, they failed to have guns on the back of it, which means that if they end up in a situation where they're on the ground, they're very easy to get. I just have to go to the side that doesn't have any guns. My ship also has that problem, but... Shh, we, we can ignore that for now. Victory, we have won. So, yes. It's a bit of fighting. I'll show, I'll show you a little bit more later. Now, let's go to Edit Art. This is where you could choose your little um, thing. This is an emblem. Yes, you get to make your own emblem. You can choose like different ones like that, that, that. But these little badges over here, they actually affect your gameplay. Some of them. Some of them don't. Some of them do. Um, this is the best one because it allows you to have the most bonuses. An anvil makes steel armor absorb 50% more damage. That sounds good. We have an eye, which will make spy actions 50% cheaper and also more likely to succeed. An eagle makes the cannons more accurate and a mountain for more lift. The, when you have lift, you can go, like, you have, your ships can only go, like, certain heights. So you, you want this to make sure you can go high enough. You can also choose the colors, like white. Um, the only problem I have is that it seems you always have to have this weird, ugly yellow. I've done it! This is something a little bit difficult to do. Getting rid of all of the ugly yellow, because there's always going to be like... Oh, look at that. Ah, oh, yes, yeah, a nice blue and white emblem. That looks nice. I'm going to register it, and then that's going to be my emblem, and it's going to give me bonuses throughout the game. So now, Conquest. In the Conquest, you have... It's kind of like Crush the Castle, except um, the bases that you take over can... Uh, different armies can come over and take over your bases as well, so you have to defend them. It's it's really, really cool. So you go to a new game, and you get to choose the name of your hometown. Witness tor Torture Area. There we go. This is where I torture the witnesses. It has this time where it um, generates the towns. It's kind of like Minecraft generating its worlds. And here we go. Um, except these worlds are definitely not like Minecraft worlds. The goal is to take over as much of it as you possibly can. You have to keep your town defended, otherwise you're going to fail. So what I'm going to do now is uh, click through all these horrible tutorial things, and I'm not, going, I'm not going to invade yet. I'm going to show you how to build your own ship. So this is the shipbuilding area. You just, just build a ship. I'm going to make a simple one. So I have built a ship. Your ship basically, um, here's the gist of things. You probably want to have weapons on you, or you could just make a ship that has people inside of it that can go in and invade. This one actually has both um, people to invade other ships and weapons of its own. You need something to move you forward, and you need this. This will actually keep you, uh, this will give you lift. This will be what lets you, this is what's going to let you fly. There you go. You also need to make sure that you have places for your people to give orders and for your people to sleep. So, after the, and just other resources like that, and you have your fully functioning ship. Now, you can have armor. The, the only problem is that the better the armor, the more it's going to weigh down your ship. Like, look at this. It's also going to be more expensive. But if you look at this, you can see that's still within budget, but 
the circus ceiling, which is how high you can fly. That's like really low now, so we're gonna see if we can What works best for us? Try to go for the thing that it's gonna give you the most protection while still being able to fly. This one has a fairly modest ceiling. A, a fairly modest surface ceiling, so this one will work just fine. So now we can do stuff like decorations. So yes, this is our ship. Now we can take it out into battle. So you, you can save your designs. I'm going to name it the HMS Flying Awesome. After Nurcube's HMS Awesome, which couldn't fly. And you see this little bar filling up. Let's unpause the game. And you can actually fast forward the game and it'll go a lot faster. Um, I don't actually recommend pausing the game. It's not really much of a good need to. And so here, I'm going to look at the defenses. So, yes, I'm, I have the ships facing forward so that if anyone comes to attack, they're going to have to meet these ships, and they're also going to have to meet these buildings. Making buildings is similar to making ships. They just can't move. You can also have a land ship, which is the same as the airships, except, well, it's on land. This. This is huge and also not very effective. I don't recommend it. It's also expensive. This has saws to shred up buildings and small little vehicles. This one just has a bajillion guns and a whole bunch of fire stuff to make sure that it doesn't burn down. This one, this is really good, but it's also way over my budget. I'm gonna make the street sweeper. It just, just sweeps up the streets, really. The other factions are going to take over land while you're busy doing your own thing. And every once in a while, they just choose your land. Now, this game has a problem where it's really easy to get a whole lot of money just by doing this. Literally. If the enemy comes to attack you, it'll pause and let you prepare for attack. So you don't have to worry about anything happening while you're gone. You can just leave this on while you go cook food, go to the bathroom, and you'll just be making money. Look, I'm making $86 every less than a second. So if I just wait and do nothing, I'll get plenty of funds. The developers really need to add something that should be very easy to counter. Like, oh, this is happening to your town. Click this button right now to make it stop. But if you don't click the button, then you lose a whole bunch of money and army. That's something they should do. That way, you can't win by not playing. I'm going to go conquer a place. Probably here. The airships are usually easier to attack than the ground vehicles for some reason. So, going to click on my army and click here to invade. So, they just have a few buildings. Click, flee to run away, and start to start. I'm gonna go down, try to be able to shoot it a little bit better. Um, oh, I forgot to tell these guys to ram through and go over here so that they can start chopping up this building. I'm gonna take this one and I'm going to command it to come over here and start attacking these places. Actually, I'm gonna show you what it's like to take over buildings. Okay, these people got stuck, so I'm just gonna have them quickly go that way. I'm gonna tell them to go over here. This way I can land on top of the building and then take over it. So yes, dragging this guy along. He, oh, he, he wasn't happy with it, apparently. He didn't like the route I was giving him. I'm gonna go along, and now I'm going to tell it to land. So it will land on top of this building here. So go down, and then I'm going to tell them to board this. It says board ship, but it just means board enemy place. Oh my god, okay. Yeah, my, my ship landed on top of this building and broke a little bit, but... Now I own this building. Uh, no. I don't. Okay. Hmm. I don't think I'm gonna win this, actually. We're, 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 we'll see. This might be a bad idea. Quickly, run across. Across. Okay. Boarding. Oh, no, 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 no. Go up, go up. Go up. No, it's staying in the middle. At this point, you should probably flee. And then it says you're defeated, and your street sweeper is surrounded. So, yes, that's fighting in this game. Now. I will show you the cool, awesome, what's it called, thingy? The workshop, Steam Workshop. Yes, you go to see Steam Workshop in action on this game. Settings, I, I look into the settings for a bit, and I, I tell you this. Use the system cursor, because their cursor is facing the wrong direction. Whatever you do, do not use this. Multiplayer, now this multiplayer would be awesome if you could actually use it, you see? Um, 
I'm going to see if there's any, you know, available multiplayer, but this game isn't very popular, so there aren't really any that you can do. So, online multiplayer, and yeah, there's no one else here. Like, maybe in the future this game will be more popular. I, I really am sure that it will, because right now, there's just no one, and this game is incredibly awesome. I can't, I can't believe this isn't, like, the, the most popular thing in the entire universe. This is a really, really good game. So I'm going to leave. You can do schedule match. I'm not sure what that does. Maybe it's something... It's, it doesn't seem to be doing anything. I assume it's so that you can schedule a match and so that people will be able to later say, hey, there's a match going on in the future. Because there's not really anyone... There's not constant matches available, as you saw. There's, like, none. There's no matches because no one really plays this game. So, yes, this has been Airships Conquer the Skies. Uh, I, I hope I was able to express how good this game is. Oh, my God. I just noticed this is my ship. I built this ship. A a apparently, when you make ships, it actually has them right here. That's awesome. Apparently, when you make ships, it'll actually show them right here on the title screen, which is awesome. I would recommend that you get this game. It's about $10, so it's not like a huge investment. Trust me, this is a very fun game. Thank you guys for watching this. If you'd like me to play any other game, or if you'd like me to do anything specific in this game, if you want me to build anything, tell me down below in the comment section what you want me to build, and I'll, I'll do that for you. So, thank you guys for watching this, and goodbye.